What's up everyone? Happy Friday, which means it is deload day for me. So I'm doing far less volume today in my dips and pull-ups and rotator cuff workout. And I'm also, well what I'm doing at the moment, at least once a day, sometimes twice or three times a day, is that I'm wrapping my arm like this with this physical therapy band. I used to call them voodoo uh, floss bands because I think that was the brand that I got. But um, yeah, they're, apparently they're called physical therapy bands. And I'm doing this for golfer's elbow because what it's doing is right now, I am constricting my blood vessels so tight that I can barely handle it, which um, what it does is it forces all of the blood out of the area, out of the capillaries, and the tendons get very little blood flow compared to blood supply, compared to um, muscles. So, you know, oxygenated blood is a big part of the healing process. And so when you do this, it's a really, um, ah, it's an incredibly valuable experience for something like golfer's elbow. And now what I'm doing is I'm flossing the muscles and the fascia, taking them through full range of motion. Oh man, it's really uncomfortable. And if you watch this, watch all the blood come back into my arm when it comes off. So look how it's all white there. All the blood's been forced out. Watch this. So it was a really, really big part of my rehabilitation process. And uh, yes, I had somebody say the other day, shouldn't you go from here up first and then back down? I do both. I do both just to cover all bases because the, um, you know, it just, um, it does force the blood out in different ways. You have to excuse me, I've only just woken up. It's um, 6 a.m. over here and I don't normally work out this early, but on Friday what I do is I, um, I finish early so that I can have a date with my wife at one o'clock before we pick up. Our, I know that sounds pathetic, doesn't it? But when you've got a young child, it's hard organizing dates in the evening. And so this gives us an opportunity to go and spend some time together when we don't have to worry about our son and babysitters and all that. So I get my first workout done first thing in the morning so that then all I've got to do is get one more workout. And I actually, actually do three workouts today because I'm going to be going for a run, beach run with a mate of mine. We go running on Fridays down at the beach and then jump in the water and go for a swim. So I'm going to do this deload workout, which will only take me about 15 minutes once I start. I'm only doing five sets and then I'll go upstairs, have a coffee, and then I'll go for a run on the beach with my mate, he picks me up at quarter to eight, back just before nine, say bye to my son before he goes to school, and then I'll do my second workout, which is my bigger one today. It's my mobility and flow and handstand and hanging workout. That's a bigger workout. And then I'll uh, do a bit of coaching to our UMS online coaching members, and then I will sign off and spend some time with my wife and my son. Look at that. It's even burst some of the capillaries in there because I went so hard. But these things were, I completely forgot about these. They, they, this was pivotal to my golfer's elbow rehab seven years or eight years ago, whenever it was that I had it. And uh, I'd forgotten about it. And I saw my band up there and went, oh, that's right. I used to do that every day. And I can feel it already after only a week. So I've put a link in the description of this video for these if you want one. Like all of our equipment, we have, um, I, uh, I share Amazon affiliate links where we make a really small commission, which obviously helps our channel. That's how part of the way that we can keep going as a business. And it's no cost to you and saves you having to look for it. And I always get the, there's always heaps of different versions of different equipment. And I always spend a little bit of time finding the one that has the highest reviews that is the cheapest 
And my experience on Amazon is that when you can get different variations of different things, that's the way to go. Get the ones that have the highest good reviews, the most amount of five-star reviews, and that are the cheapest. Okay, now I'm going to do a very small amount of foam rolling today. Body's feeling really good at the moment, actually. Anybody that's been watching my videos this year, you'll know that I tore my rotator cuff, my supraspinatus early this year, but it's feeling really good. And I went to the chiropractor for the first time last week, and I, for the first time this year, this week, actually, not last week, it was this week, it was on Tuesday. And man, my body feels better. I forgot how good it feels going to the chiropractor. So I'm gonna book myself in weekly for a little while because it's made my shoulder feel better even. Whether you believe in it or not, I get incredible um, relief from chiropractors, I really do. It, it does a lot for me. A good chiropractor, it's like anyone, you know? If you go to a crap doctor, you'll get terrible advice, but you go to a good doctor and it can be life-changing. And it's the same for me with chiropractors. And I've been going to chiropractors for, for, for my whole life, really, since I was a young boy. My mum was taking me to chiropractors and so I've learned how to sniff out the good ones and the not so good ones and if I find a not so good one I'll never go back but when I find a good one they're worth their weight in gold for me you know so is a good sports massage as well though you know a good a good physical practitioner there's all different styles of um, physical therapy that you can get. Right now I'm just doing a quick warm up set. <laughs> My two primary lifts. And in the spirit of fixing this golfer's elbow, I'm also deloading my um, wrist flexors in every workout. And the way that I'm doing that is with a neutral grip pull-up instead of a supinated grip or a pronated grip, that's one way. And then the other way is that by using wrist wraps, which is really weird for pull-ups, but it, um, it really does help to speed up the recovery process. So, and I'm just trying to get rid of this last little niggling bit of golf as well. But get out of my way, box. In a deload workout, I'm still aiming for the same level of intensity, even improvements in intensity, but I reduce volume by doing less sets, only 40% of the normal volume. So, just forgot to film my set of pull-ups. <laughs> oh well. I did a set. So I'm only doing two sets of pull-ups and two sets of dips. And one set of external rotation. That's it. That's the whole workout. And I'm happy to report that, you know, in fixing this golfer's elbow, a big part of it for me is to build up the strength in the shoulder, pulling muscles and in the bicep as well to, to take away some of the load from the wrist flexors and my biceps are growing from all the work I'm doing. I don't think I've ever had biceps that big before.
Woo. And that's it, no more dips for the whole workout. That's it for my primary workout. And now just a set of this. So doing a deload workout like this, it gives my body the space that it needs to uh, recover. And recovery is where all the real growth happens. That's it. I'll see you in uh, my handstand hanging and flow workout later this morning after my beach run.